Sailors would never eat fish, no matter how hungry they became during their lengthy travels. What other intriguing regulations did the ancient seafarers have? Why, then, did they not eat fish? High curiosity seekers, this is the juicy truth. And in this video, we'll answer that and look at the other reasons why being a sailor might not be as cool as it sounds. If you are engrossed in this video, then like and share it by the end. And don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell for more exciting content by The Juicy Truth. If you think it was fantastic to be a pirate or sailor in the past, the harsh reality is that it wasn't. Not at all. It had nothing to do with humming sea shanties and setting out on epic journeys across the seven seas in search of a fountain of youth or gold-filled caverns. Being at sea all the time wasn't all that cool. And there are strong arguments in favor of it. So, let's get sailing for real. Number 1. No fashion allowed. Throughout the voyage, sailors wore only one set of clothes and hardly ever washed them. They reasoned that they will be shielded from winds and rain by filth and oil. Number 2. No comfy sleep. Back then, the ships were completely overcrowded. Whether or not they were employed by a well-known figure like Christopher Columbus, sailors would have to tolerate living in such conditions. Two of Columbus' ships, the Nina and the Pinta, were among the finest sailing ships of their era. Again though, the fact that they were so small and the guides had nowhere to sleep remained unchanged. Number 3. Forget Hygiene It was not good for the health of the sailors to sleep in a crowded area where they could hardly move, and going below deck was not an option because there was no fresh air there. In addition, rats are always a possibility there. Please excuse your personal hygiene. If you're wondering how the rats got there, they can swim quite well. Additionally, sailors were at sea, whatever the time of year or the weather. They were thus frequently cold and away, making it difficult for them to maintain good health. Number 4. Crack Hard Crackers Back then, sailors had to devise methods for storing enough food to endure for weeks, months, or even years. They had few food options as a result. On ships, salted meat, which wasn't as chewy as you might expect, and a biscuit known as hard crackers were two of the most popular meal alternatives. It was also known as worm castles or sheet iron. These crackers had a cardboard flavor and were practically just wheat and water combined. They resembled bricks and could only be eaten after being softened with water. These biscuits occasionally remained incredibly dense. For sailors to be able to eat the substance, they had to smash their hands down on them to break them into smaller pieces. The food hardly ever went terrible as long as it was kept dry. If there were any left after a year, the sailors could eat them. But in most cases, keeping them dry inside wooden casks would be tough. After that, they would become infected with bugs that would leave behind tiny holes. Sailors would continue to consume them since they need to get their protein from somewhere. Number 5. No fishing, please. They could, of course, throw the net into the water and capture some fish. But even when they were starving, sailors refused to eat fish. The issue has been mentioned by captains in their log diaries. It wasn't that fish couldn't be caught by sailors. In actuality, their nets contained a wide variety of fish, but they were all thrown back into the water. Because sailors believed that only dangerous fish were poisonous, they tended to consume only the species they were familiar with. But even correctly prepared tuna was harmful. It was poisonous. As far back as the 7th century BCE, eating fish caught in open water presented a concern. Ancient Chinese imperial medics were aware that eating fish was to blame for some sailors' deaths, but they could not establish that the fish were deadly. Therefore, the mystery persisted until the 19th century. A Cuban physician discovered in 1886 that some fish carry poison in their tissues and muscles despite being considered safe to consume. Plankton is where you can indeed find that kind of toxin. Some fish are unaffected by this plankton and can eat it. They keep it in their bodies, and the poison's absorption rate rises as they develop. No matter how long the fish is cooked, this remains. So, a sailor's diet consisted only partially of meat and potatoes. Many sailors become vitamin deficient as a result of this. Not having a balanced diet was probably the least of a sailor's worries when they ran out of food. Moreover, the weather conditions in the past could cause a journey to take far longer than anticipated. There might not be any winds to propel the ship, or there might be a strong storm that rocks the ship and destroys the food storage with the waves and water. 
Therefore, sailors might soon run out of food in such an event. Still willing to be Jack Sparrow? Well, then, don't forget, there's always a chance of being apprehended by pirates. And they wouldn't prefer sitting and having a discussion with you. Thus, you would have to wave the white flag and join them. Or you can help the poor shark by being its meal. So, do you still find the idea of being on the ship in the past exciting? Drop your thoughts in the comments section. Also, remember to give this video a like and share it with your friends. And as always, subscribe and keep exploring the juicy truth.